G'day guys, it's Nathan Fletcher here for The Drunk Philosopher. Today I'm going to talk about something that uh, I've been meaning to talk about for about a month now and I've only been back online, I know, for a couple of weeks or whatever it is, but still. China's social credit system. Now for those people who think that China's moving away from, from the communist side of things, you're very, very wrong. The government has just implemented this new idea, this new policy and that is to be a good citizen. And in order for you to be a good citizen, not only do you have to do the right thing, but the other people around you have to do the right thing as well. And what is the right thing? Guess what it is. It's following the government's line. To be a good person in China, you must do exactly what the government tells you to do. Oh, yeah. Big brother, eh? Hmm. And to do what the government tells you to do, well, you get credits if you do it. If you're a really good citizen and you dob on other people who aren't being good citizens and you make sure and ensure that all your family and friends are really good citizens, well, you get a credit, right? You get bonuses, you get uh, free flights on a plane, you'll get a, a free bit of telly or whatever it is. You know, some, it'll be something not too brilliant, but <laughs> here we go. If you've got friends or family or you yourself turn out to be a bad citizen, guess what? they start taking away your rights to fly on a plane. <laughs> and if you're a business person, oh shit, you're in trouble, aren't you? Hmm. Train, now there's a lot of public transport in, in China. Uh, yeah, you, you, but it's not just you. you. It's not just you that stuffs up here. If, if your son or your dad stuffs up, or your wife or your, your husband or whatever, a person close to you stuffs up, you can lose your rights as well and your privileges you see there's no such thing as a right in a totalitarian communist nation you're just told that you have to live this way and you just deal with that okay this is the way the government wants it this is the way you're going to do it. and it's there and it's worse than ever because now big brother is you it is your friends you know this is this is going right the way back to 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 bolshevik style communism okay um and and Stalin, Stalinist communism as well. It's it's you dobbing a mate, you know, or dobbing a family member. And this is what communism does. It says that uh, the government, it's not just government that'll keep you in line. It's going to be your friends and your family, very nineteen eighty four style. Okay, so this is now implemented in China. This is now happening right now. Okay, and and. When it comes to China, I mean, I have no love for China because I remember as a child watching Tiananmen Square and watching that young fella nearly get run over by that tank. You know, he jumps on top of the tank because otherwise he'd run him down, this young university person protesting for freedom in, in Beijing. I remember that and it stuck with me forever. It'll, it'll never go away. So for those of you who think that you know, China's becoming less communistic. Absolutely not. It is going back to actual communism socially very quickly, like within a space of the year of, of the new leader becoming dear leader um, and going back to tyranny. So that's where it stands with China, and it's sad and it's horrifying. And I think that we as Australians should really start reconsidering where we stand as far as China goes and our relationship to China is. I'm Nathan Fletcher. I am the Drunk Philosopher, and I'll catch you next time. Uru.